Hello there people, uh, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my let's play of Strategic Command, this time I have to tell it correctly, European Theater. Yay! <laughs> so it is part 9 and now the fun will begin. As you remember, the Soviets have reached 98% of you know, getting involved into war, so this means they will attack us on the next turn, declare war and attack, but, of course, you do not declare war on Germany, we declare war on you, so fuck you. <laughs> anyway, first, for the sweet parts, here we'll have to deal with Montgomery. Let us kill him. Oops, loud. Again. Montgomery is gone. Wonderful. Now, we could attack this army, or we could give elite replacements. Not sure. I was saying four stars, actually four medals of experience for Ramo. Um, so, do we now dare to? Hmm. Well, we could destroy this um, aircraft carrier, and we have plenty of military prestige points. So, okay, first we'll destroy this uh, aircraft carrier. Ouch, that hurt, but was necessary. So yeah, let us reinforce our air fleets. You see, the experience drops, you know, totally. No elite replacements in strategic command. So, the Italians have arrived. So I guess it is time to bring our subs closer to provoke the enemy even more and the Italians will help us establish a blockade for the American units. You can probably go here. So this is our very first corpse that we will use to uh, attack Canada. And this is the second one. Attack Canada, attack Canada. <laughs> South Park or something, I'm not sure if this was. Okay, here we also need to reinforce our units. Max. Yeah, Max, why not? And von Meinstein goes here. So we can also transport uh, his headquarters towards, you know, Canada. Uh, uh, so, yeah, since... Yeah, I have to admit the something. Uh, off screen, I tried, you know, not to declare war on USSR. Uh, just, you know, I just gave the enemy its turn. I just wanted to see something, because sometimes uh, when it is so close to war, um, the country declares war on you after the turn, but uh, with 98% per I was pretty sure that the Soviets would declare war immediately, and I was right. So, wasn't really cheating, just confirming what I suspected, so, you know. But if you feel that I was cheating, then, you know, just fry me in the comments. <laughs> anyway. Time to attack Iraq. Sort of rhymed, so should be the right idea. And now we'll bring the Soviets to 100%. Yeah. Uh... Did I save this recently? No. Uh, so, zero, zero, 
94. Yeah, 94. This time I was right. Let us attack immediately. Good. Again. And yet again. And again. And now Iraq is ours. As for Turkey, I'm not really sure if we will attack on this very turn. Since, you know, we will need some assistance probably from our air fleet uh, and, you know, perhaps we should invade Soviet Union first and then on the next turn deal with Turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble! <laughs> yeah. I am so funny. Not. Okay, purchase units. Or maybe first. Uh, mm -hmm. First? Uh, ha, ha. Interesting. Okay, perhaps you can come. Yeah. And now, for the moment that all of you have been waiting for, especially, especially Stephs, so this is for you, bro. War map, let us declare war on the Soviet Union. Yes. <coughs> Close. As you can see, They mean business. And since I haven't played this game in a very long time, I have no idea how to actually proceed now. Uh, perhaps sh we should start here in the north. Good. Or maybe it was a bad idea, I'm not sure. This army we have to destroy. That's a given. So wonderful. And now we can we can bypass this army. Mm -hmm. Tank. Second guards tank group. What are you guarding, actually? Hmm. So, we move here. Army destroyed. Wonderful. And now we'll attack this army as well. And... If we attack with our air fleet? No looks like it will not work so so yeah this settles it we will invade uh, declare war on Turkey too so Sorry. I just want to clear some room for the units to advance and it's bothering me. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So yeah, Turkey will wait. Again. Uh, now for our tank. So now uh, basically we are cutting off 
and destroying of course the frontier armies <coughs> Uh, this army uh, at Odessa is basically doomed because it is encircled and unless the Soviets can mount you know an efficient counterattack um, well like I said then this army is lost here we will attack the tank ouch good Soviet tanks uh, and in case you haven't noticed it yet uh, we will lose uh, some units here, no question about it. Mm -hmm. It would be probably wiser, you know, to um, actually Uh, place our tanks forward, you know, instead of our armies, but like I said, I'm a bit rusty at this game, so I don't always know what I'm doing But now the important part we need to bring our headquarters forward So they are still in a position to supply our units and for the purchase We need some air fleets desperately mostly here in the north so one goes here and another one uh, do not place air fleets in this game close to ground units since ground units can actually attack air fleets uh, while they're on the ground of course so it is risky so here we go nothing else to purchase for Germany and since we have spent our air fleets attacking uh, the frontier armies of the Soviets we will not declare war on Turkey on this turn but on the next mm -hmm. everything okay in Yugoslavia we haven't seen partisans in a long time so I'm suspecting this will change soon. Runch that closer. Mm. Mm. So now all we have to do is to invest more into research for the Italians and this means like I said in the previous video long range aircraft. So so that, you know, uh, aircraft carriers will have more range. So this is it, let us save. Zero, zero, 0095, yeah, you guessed it, time for a little pause, be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Um, there is one thing we still haven't seen in this game. Uh, perhaps we can call it a lucky strike, you know. Uh, so it happens sometimes, and it means that you get, uh, you know, in research you get upgrades for each and single category you have invested at least one point in. I don't think it is a bug in the game, it is a feature probably and a very useful one, but so far, you know, we haven't seen it and Research wasn't good to us, you know. Uh, we still have pretty shitty units, especially infantry, and you know, wasn't we weren't lucky regarding research. I'm just checking one more time if everything is okay, and then we'll give the enemy its turn. Yeah check out the military prestige points for the Soviet Union to begin with and now <laughs> no, 1050 and now we will see how much they get for each turn um, well they, they'll get less when we take over some cities and everything but okay done <coughs> 
Iraq surrenders. So plunder for Italy, wonderful. And now our subs are disrupting convoys, wonderful. So we get nothing in research, of course. We get something. We get more than the Soviet Union, but check out how much the Soviet Union will get. Oh, thanks, 11. Oh my god. They are fighting back like crazy. Ah, more units for us. Thank you. Now check out the, the military prestige points. UK 115, USA 118, now look Soviet Union. 475, uh, otherwise it would be 480, but we have encircled the city of Odessa. So, the resources are huge. Mm, zero, zero, nine, five. No. Nine, six. Yeah. Okay, so here we are now and as you can see the Soviets mean business. Mm, yeah. Now do we use Italians to help us with Turkey? I think so. Yeah. But first, always the obvious. Now we will destroy this transport. American army. So, yeah. You die. Please? No. It refuses to die, so... Now it did. And now, of course, for our airplanes. It's probably time to finish off the American Air Force in Britain. So, attack! Nice! Now we'll attack the British Inf. And now we'll attack directly the Americans. And again. But we'll keep the British for the next turn. So let us just reinforce this air fleet. Oh, Rommel. Four medals. I just love you. Uh, in a, a non-homosexual -hom way, of course. <laughs> Okay, now Italians will take over here, uh, uh, will take over the things here in the south and the Germans will advance north to provi provide, you know, protection for the units that are advancing towards Canada. Here and here. So I guess now these two corpses are safe. Uh, C. So we are not close enough just yet. So okay. Subs can stay here, but. We'll bring them even closer, <coughs> now that we can. Now we'll transport von Meinstein. And these tanks go here. We operate this tank too. And this army too. Okay. 
so Canada will fall to our might pretty soon as soon as we disembark okay everything okay in Yugoslavia I just love it not Yugoslavia but ev that everything is okay and now we'll declare war on Turkey gobble 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 <laughs> sorry I cannot help myself yes So, Italians advance, maybe you first, you, 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 and you, and headquarters also closer. And now, oh, holy shit. Well, this was really my bad. I thought that, ah, shit. Not good. So, if we use our air fleet, perhaps we could deal uh, with uh, this corpse here. Hmm. Yeah, we have to. Don't think we actually have a choice. Still one. This really isn't going our way. Yeah, it isn't. landing casualties I thought that we could oh well now you're doing a good job oh go fuck yourself you know uh, you can come here So now uh, we'll have to deal with um, this army here. So let us make room. Soviets destroy Odessa. Now this is the Scorch Earth policy. Uh, if this is what it's called. Just let me check the options. Sc uh, scorch Earth. Just Scorch Earth. But, you know, everything we take will get reduced to zero and then slowly getting back to five. So, yeah. But we are making some good progress, I think you'll agree. Very nice. Now, why can't we reach this hex here? Strange. Okay, north. <coughs> one one you see supply of zero because our army here in the north was effectively disconnected you know from from uh, headquarters and everything so this is the result you die Nice. You too, please. Good. 
Now we can bring our headquarters closer. So perhaps we can deal with this tank now. Yeah. Ouch! Stupid me, I should have checked, you know, the stats, but I was, you know, too eager to advance and this is what happens if you are too eager. Now we'll deal with this air fleet. Yes! Wonderful. Attack some more or come closer? Not sure. Ah, here we now actually can advance. Ah, but with this army. So, yeah. Headquarters? We'll need more headquarters, most definitely. Tank? Uh, you can probably go here. Okay, pretty good. Hmm. Now what? Uh, always you can check, you know, uh, which headquarters is covering uh, which unit uh, by clicking on the headquarters. So. Yeah, we'll need more, most definitely. So perhaps we can focus on headquarters. Only shitty one remain. So one goes here. And another one. Mm, can oh. Actually it costs too much. Okay. <laughs> Can we purchase anything else? No, air fleet is also too expensive. So I guess it wasn't really a mistake or something, you know, but I could have done better here. Let me just check what else can we move. nothing much as you can see what we will also need very soon are more uh, corpses because we will use them to deal with the partisans that will start popping uh, up or out not sure uh, behind our lines uh, I'm talking about Soviet partisans so huh But I don't think so just yet. Um, we can save this now. Uh, zero z ah, holy shit! Zero zero ninety. Uh, I thought it was ninety seven, but yeah, uh, yeah. So probably again time to give the enemy its turn, <coughs> and then we'll have to. Well, actually, you know what? We need an army, not just yet, but we have to attack Switzerland as well, so we'll need an army here. God, I wish I had more, you know, military prestige points. Oh, almost forgot about the Italians. Research Italy. Mm, let us invest. Purchase. Uh, and it can go into what? Gun lane radar we have. Well, perhaps jet aircraft. I'm not sure if if it helps, you know, for um, for carriers, but perhaps it does, you know. So now we have both for Germany and Italy all the research points that we require.
that are actually you know available not that only we require so mm. and since we still have enough prestige for Italy should we now purchase you know uh, a carrier now way too expensive and for Italy also so no okay so we do not need to save again but I will take a little pause and be right back and I'm back uh, so uh, I think we can give the enemy its turn yeah done Good, we are causing some serious... Ah, again, nothing in research and development. Go fuck yourself. Oh, the Soviets are retreating already. Nice. Mmm. Bad. I guess the Brits still have, you know, some pretty useful units in reserve, so I'm talking about naval units. And of course, since we have uh, declared war on Turkey, now the Brits also gave, uh, get prestige from Turkey, so... But this will not last for long, since... I think we will be able to take Turkey out of action really soon. Now, do we attack this carrier with our airplane or not? <coughs> Perhaps first we should focus on other units. Ah, it is in range of... Wow, talking about range. Okay. Let us deal with the British air fleet first. And now we'll destroy this. Yeah, wonderful. So I guess no harm if we actually <coughs> attack uh, this carrier. Again, and it's gone, and now we continue harassing this inf since it is not entrenched. Very good. <coughs> you should go south immediately. Now you can destroy this transport. But this should work, so... Yeah. Nice. And we also bring the Italian sub closer, you know, for even more... Um, interference with, you know... With Americans trying to help and Canadians also, so yeah. So you, headquarters of Meinstein, advance. You two, get ready to disembark. Now transport the tank. The army. And another tank. So I'm thinking Canada will be ours in, I don't know, two, three turns, maybe.
and now this blockade is complete no partisans in Yugoslavia this is strange but I'm happy about it so now let us unload uh, landing casualties again supply so low we cannot do shit but now our Italian allies will do their part and will attack Air Zurum why surprise I knew the unit was there for goodness sake Okay. But perhaps first we should deal, you know, uh, with the units protecting Istanbul. So accomplish anything special but Istanbul will fall probably on the next turn and then there's Urum and then we'll take over Ankara so also Turkey will be ours pretty soon you move here you advance <coughs> <laughs> so here we cannot advance anywhere, so bringing headquarters closer, always good and useful. But now we can actually bypass the defenders of the city of Minsk. Should we do it? Probably. So they are effectively cut off, you know? Uh, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So here we can attack. And we have taken over a mine. The Soviets have destroyed it, yes, but you know, at least uh they don't get more, you know, military prestige points from it, so if nothing else, this is a good idea. Uh huh. So now what do we do? We can send this tank north. Okay. I'm not commenting a lot, you know, because I am kind of concentrating. God damn it. Now we can actually destroy this inf. And this one too. And we come closer and we also attack this inf. 
so headquarters closer 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 you can get reinforced good progress we will take over Kiev pretty soon and Minsk too and then Smolensk and then we are close to Moscow not bad at all so let us save 0098 I one thing I was wondering also um, they say that um, the people that enjoy strategic games are usually more educated um, they have higher education than, than other people you know playing games and I was just wondering because you know uh, I have a PhD uh, pretty huge <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. This was only a joke. Uh, not a very good one. So... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Again, we have moved everything that we were supposed to. And we need yet another headquarter here. Yeah, here and we have still enough for another air fleet which we will place here good progress really good progress as for the Italians I think we are finally in a position to purchase or are we to purchase a carrier? No. Not just yet. We could purchase an air fleet, but I'm not sure. If we purchase an air fleet, of course, where can we place it? Ah, we can place it here in Iraq. But ground units, probably not, right? Yeah. You know, it doesn't work the same for air and ground units. <coughs> but one thing that I want to do is to purchase um, corps probably here. No. Well, we'll see when the enemy approaches, so... So no, no. On the map, of course. Um, so. So what can we purchase for the Italians, if anything? Um, well, no. We'll just save the prestige for aircraft carriers. This is it. Uh, um, save again. 0099 and after we check our ground units we will give the enemy its turn yeah done Yes, industrial technology level 5, Italy advanced subs level 3, okay. And Italy industrial technology level 3, oh, this was a good turn. Ouch. Ouch again. Bloody hell, the Soviets have a fleet here in the area. Bad. You know I'm bad, I'm bad. But we are reducing, you know, the, the income of 
Soviet military prestige points, uh, which is excellent. So, time to save. 0, 100. Again a little pause, one more turn, maybe two, then we'll finish this video. Be right back. Yo! I'm home, honey. Okay, so very sweet part now. We have reached the maximum in industrial technology, so we can now place our two research points somewhere else. So one goes into jet aircraft and the other one into long range aircraft. Since I would like, you know, even more range for my aircraft. <laughs> yeah, and here industrial technology for Italy. Yeah. Advanced subs, you know, the least useful probably at the moment, perhaps with the exception of jet aircraft, but yeah. We are advancing. <coughs> so we save this on 0, 101. 101, yeah. Who do we attack now? Probably this inf. Okay. And again. Nice. And now for the... No, this inf. And again. <coughs> So we are clearing the grounds, you know, for the invasion of Britain. And now we unload. And again. Uh, so Canada will be ours pretty soon. Now, uh, uh, army here, Meinstein here, <coughs> tank here, and we have another tank. So, okay, Italian battleship goes into the port. Everything else, I think, is in order, so we'll just, you know, spread our units even more. Nice. Now we are moving back uh, to Middle East. And we have an oil field destroyed. You come closer, you attack, you too. And another army closer. And now we really have to destroy this freaking infantry defending the city of Istanbul. So. Let us advance. Now we destroy this army. And we come closer. No destruction just yet, but Turkey is doomed. And by when we, uh, you know, when we close this gap here, 
the Soviets won't be able to send the reinforcements to Turkey, so this is also very important. And we take over a mine. Scorch Earth really works. But you know, if we can get, we, if we can get, uh, if we can't get, sorry, the military prestige points from it, then at least the Soviets won't also. So. Now please die. 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 <coughs> so Kiev is ours. Pretty much like in Panzer General, huh? Uh, fa 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 fa. We'll probably need another headquarter. Purchase units. Bush. George W. No. Not necessary at the moment. Uh, but now we will actually uh, deal with... Uh, October Skaya cruiser pa, and Marat cruiser. First, October Skaya. It has something to do with October, probably the revolution. Nice. We can reinforce this unit and we will. Max. Okay. And we'll attack this Marat cruiser in the port. Again, very nice. Nothing. Bloody hell. Uh, if we go here, do we? No. Here? No. Yeah, this is better. And now we can bring our headquarters closer again. <coughs> Good. What else can we do? Headquarters, of course, closer. We need supplies. One. Yeah, because. We are too far away, you know, from um, our headquarters. And this is why we have such a low supply. And this will only get more difficult as we advance, you know, across the Soviet soil. Since uh, they will destroy each and every city we take and, you know, even our headquarters won't be... Uh, very well supplied in the end, so zero uh, save game zero hundred and two headquarters for the Italians, I guess. No, we should keep it here. Purchase units.
we could probably afford another air fleet, yeah, here. And like I said, uh, we have enough headquarters um, in the north, but not enough in the south. So, yeah, one more headquarter. Mm, where? Here. Okay. Italians. Now we can actually finally purchase a carrier for the Italians. But we cannot field it even close to where it matters. So, uh -huh. mm, damn it. Okay, still, we have to. More units? No. Not enough. Let us save again. Zero one hundred and three. <coughs> uh, can we purchase an army for Germany? Yeah, we can. So we'll place it here. It is time to declare war on Switzerland. And we'll do it immediately. I'll tell you why. Because, uh, you know, um, uh, they, do don't, they do not have a city. Uh, so they have really shitty supplies and... Um, Italian army. Yeah, we'll use another Italian army. Why not? No, 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 no. Let us save the prestige. So, okay, we declare war on Switzerland. And we will not attack. Okay. And you can move here just in case. Um, okay. What else can we move? nothing so let us give the enemy its turn then one more pause and then we'll f uh, do another turn and finish the video very good but this time nothing in research so Just waiting, you know, for the moment when the British will bring this air fleet from Malta back home, since they will need it desperately for the defense. And we are successfully, um, actually, you know, we are successfully um, diminishing uh, the income of uh, Soviet Union. 
you know what I mean by income, military prestige points. We are very far ahead and, you know, yeah. So, time for the last pause in the game. I will be right back, one more turn, then we finish the video. Uh, yo, I'm back. So, let us conquer Canada first. Unload. Unload. And you. Very nice. And I completely forgot I have another tank here, so yeah, my bad, folks. Ah, damn it. We cannot do anything with this tank, but you know. And now uh, we'll do damage to the Americans. And more. And more. And yet more. Wonderful. And now to the British. Very nice. Reinforce. Max. And now we will take over Switzerland. It will take us a turn or two, but you know. Eventually these two units are doomed because they cannot have a very good supply. But first, Turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Okay. Now, uh, ah, not in range, but here. Now we can bring our air fleets closer to our line of advance. Sevastopol. Think we should take it. So first we'll attack it. And again. And now we advance. Come on, speed run, speed run. Excellent. Hmm. 
Riga is ours. And now we'll also attack Minsk. Soviets destroy Minsk. Scorch Earth. Ay, 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 ay. Uh. And we are advancing. taking over even more of the Soviet's territory and now we'll attack this bloody ship headquarters uh, destroy As you can see, now we are approaching Smolensk and nobody is actually stopping us, so I guess we are getting close to victory even here with the Soviets. Um, and I stand corrected since I thought it would it will be a tougher battle but it really isn't or wasn't if you prefer since I don't know uh, Moscow is almost in our reach now so hmm. but yeah probably all the preparation that uh, you know we did before invading Russia it really paid off so okay aircraft carrier mm, Einstein no no nothing here yeah this is it again so <coughs> Uh, purchase units now we'll need corpses everywhere so one here another one here yet another one here so we are safe if the Americans you know decide to invade Portugal or Spain or you know France and here behind the lines we will purchase even more corpses uh, since um, you know they are necessary for ah we have one more headquarters to purchase do we place it here yeah we do to deal with Switzerland and you can come here so Germans are now pretty low on military prestige points Italy not enough for the carrier that's obvious Yeah, this is it. So let us save. 
zero one hundred and five uh, not five six yeah and now we give the enemy its turn and then we finish this video and I'm guessing two maybe three more videos and we will win Canada is ours USA will be attacked shortly after Canada so yeah okay very nice done nothing in the research again go fuck yourself <laughs> Again, the reinforcements from America have, uh, you know, ran into our blockade, so... Yeah, USSR is also crumbling now, so... So, yeah. We are on our way to winning this battle and the war so yeah wonderful um, save zero 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 one hundred and seven uh, uh, I will make another video tomorrow I think uh, since it is uh, tomorrow will be Saturday so uh, thank you for watching this all the best from Mr. Critic and bye-bye.